October of 2012, my right hand got weak and weaker. And in addition, my body began to have fasciculation. And the combination is uh, a sign of ALS. Mm -hmm. Now I can't walk. Earlier in the summer, I could walk up a stair. Not, uh, pretty much have me be almost carried out to my studio. But I got hooked uh, by the excitement of painting friends and family. They got under my skin <laughs> and I started really, really digging it. <laughs> Good art is not planned. I mean, the really cool thing is I had no idea I was going to start painting portraits like a madman. <laughs> I didn't think I had it in me. And frankly, I don't. <laughs> uh, hand down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm going doing a lower lip. Yeah. <coughs> After a, a, a painting session, my body is pretty tired. And, well, one thing about ALS is it really um, eats up energy. My whole body is, has muscles that are misfiring all the time. The amazing thing that happened this summer was a non-stop parade of people coming to offer their love and support. And I felt overwhelmed, and I think that is partly why I wanted to paint everyone. No, I just painted people whose life intersected with mine, and usually in a positive way. People brought meals over, gave me a back rub, sold painting. <laughs> I would like to stress that about everything else. I think my new work is really tough and really expressive and there is no leaning on facility. Like raw emotion, I have no way I can do anything but kind of raw um, expression, gesture. And I, I'm very proud of it. It's what I always wanted in painting, and now I can, can get there without facility. I feel like the portraits are in a class by themselves. And I don't think I'm bragging, although I have lost all sense of modesty. How did I do it that in the half an hour? Or maybe 45 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 3.15 now. Yeah. Yeah. Well experience, right? Hey, you're good. <laughs> no, I'm not. I am lucky. I am proud of how much fun I'm having and how everyone around me is 
also having fun. And I think it's very interesting that I partly became a painter because I liked the intensity of being alone in my studio with my dream. And now I love having people around to share my uh, emotion with.